We left off with our while loop here and just going through every one of our months and getting our days correct. Then we have our headers and now we're going to continue inside of this loop. So I'm going to create a new variable here called day and initialize it to one. So if our day does not start from Sunday, then we're going to leave some space for the structuring of our calendar. All right, so now we're going to do int i is going to be first day in current month. And we're going to start another loop with that, which is going to be i is greater than zero and create a body for this loop. Let's see, we want our closing brace. There we go. And in this loop, what we're going to do is see out a space. And then we're just going to increment, or actually going to decrement this i. So this is just leaving a little bit of spacing format. And we'll see how this plays out once we actually start building through it. Now what we want is to get into creating our calendar. So again, we're still inside this loop. So now we're going to begin with the calendar part of this. So start creating calendar. And for this, we're going to do while day is less than or equal to num days. We want to create a body. And I have my closing brace there, so that's good. And what we're going to do is create two spaces. And then we're going to write the day of the month. And again, follow it by a space, which will look like this. So we're going to have C out set W2 and day and then followed by a space save. So basically set width on this. And so now if there if there's more than five weeks, we're going to initialize first day to zero. So if more than five weeks in month, initialize first day to zero. All right, so that will look like this. So first day in current month. And we're going to do, it's equal to six, so we're, we're over on that one. C out, in line. And what I mean is we're actually at the end of the week. So we're going to do first day in month. I'm just going to grab this. And we're going to say it equals zero. So initialize it back. Then we're going to have an else. So we will say in our else and we want our closing brace. All right. Let's remove this extra line. And in here, we're going to just increment the date of the current month. So let's see if I can paste. Yep. So first day in the month, and we're going to do plus one. All right. And then outside of that, we have our day. And that is going to equal day plus one. And then we can also do some C outs here, end of line, end of line, and end of line. Now I have my colon. Then the current month, we are going to say equals, we're just incrementing current month. Now that's where we got stuck in our while loop earlier. So now you can see it's incrementing. Eventually it's going to be greater than 12. We will then get out of our loop. When down here, we're just going to do a C out in line. I think this might be a little bit of formatting issue. Let's see here. This while in lines with that. We have our closing brace. Okay, so this may be okay. I'm going to build it and see if we run into any problems. Let's raise this and see where is it complaining. Let's see. Maybe scroll way up here. Right there looks to be the one. So just kind of scroll up the top of all this and get what we're looking for. This is line 85. Okay, so here it is. It's not liking that. It's end L. All right, build. And so again, I'm just going to scroll further up. All right, we are at line 107. So let's go down there. Here we are. NL, NL, NL. We need another arrow. Save that one and build. Okay, so at least it builds. Now we're going to see if it will run. So let's go ahead do 2016. All right, what do these look like? And let's see, November, October, September. So this is looking pretty good. 
and looks like we have an issue there. Yeah, so the first week actually has a problem that we're going to need to look into. Yeah, so we're getting some stuff up here. It's not exactly what we want. But our days are there. So 28, March is 31, April is 30. Let's just scroll on down. So 31, November is 30, October is 31. So that part right there at least is looking good. And now it's just a matter to figure out where where is the problem, where is it breaking down, that it's not getting this kind of formatting here correct. So i just scroll to the top of this. There's probably three areas that this is going to be happening in, and one of them would be here where we have our spacing. Another could be this line here. It's just a matter of getting this to push over, getting these days to push over as well. So I'm going to do a little bit with that I think our days needs at least a space there in the beginning. And I'm going to add a couple more spaces on this. And let's just go ahead and run it. Go back with 2016. So our days are actually looking pretty good. We just probably need to do a little bit more getting our day headers to look at, but the actual dates seem to be lining up how we would want them to line up. Uh, so for this right here, I think we're going to need a little bit more spacing or a few more underscores in here. So let's see, I'm going to add, let's see, we have one, two, three, four. If I add four, one, two, let's see, we'll see what that will look like. One, two, three, four. Go ahead and build and run. And so that looks pretty good right there. And let's see here, I'm going to add, I wonder if I add a space between each day, if that is too much, but we will see. Run this. All right, and that is what it needs because that's how our days are actually getting space. We have, looks like two characters, maybe it's uh, two of them, two spaces in between right there our dates, which is the same as what we have here. So that's going to play out quite well. And that those two between the dates are coming from right there. So that's, that's going to make everything line up. And that is our completed project now for this module. And you can see here, we're looking pretty good with all of our formatting. So nothing odd is going on there. So that completes this challenge. Oh, 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 oh,